So today we read Sri Sri Shishasta come and we are on this book on page 56. 56 down. The Bhagavata gives the following definition of Rajasika, passionate devotion. A person who worships me with great pump for the attainment of sense enjoyment, fame, or lux luxurious, and who has a separation, separate selfish or dualistic vision, thinking of other things than me, is in the mode of passion. By the grace of the great devotees, such a person can also give up such desires and be blessed with the treasure of pure devotion. The best example is that of Dhruva Maharaj. He was pierced by the arrow-like words of his stepmother and very anxiously he invoked the descent of the Lord, this descent of the Lord, on the order of his mother, praying to him for the inheritance of his father's throne. <coughs> but when he attained the audience and the mercy of the great sage Narada, he gave up his desire for a kingdom, and his heart became absorbed in the pure devotional service of the Lord. Later, when he attained the Lord's direct audience, Dhruva Maharaj Ma Mahasai prayed, Oh Lord, the experience of the greatness of your Brahman feature cannot be compared to the ecstasy one feels from meditating on your lotus feet or hearing about you from your devotees. What to speak of the sensual pleasures of the heavenly planets. <laughs> Even the residents of heaven fall down from their airplanes when they are hit by the sword of invisible time, invincible time. O oh, unlimited Lord, may I get the association of pure-hearted, great souls who are fully surrendered to you. I will easily be able to cross the ocean of material miseries, which is full of dangers by becoming intoxicated with the nectar of talks about your glories in their company. This is how the faith and devo devotion of Dhruva Mahasaya became free from material tinges. Srimad Bhagavata defines sattvika devotion as follows. Maybe you want to say first a little bit about rajasika devotion? You want to say a little bit? Before we go to the next. <clears throat> uh, 
So, ラジャシックディボーション。is some, ラジャシック means, え、uh, little passion there. want to have some material desire, try to fulfill material desire, try to get something material, or sense enjoyment, like、uh, to get nice position. Here, Dhruva Maharaj want to have kind of position, like, like,、uh, further, or more higher position than further. So, that is his desire. So, someone who has, u、uh, devotion, do devotional service, but some with material desire, and that's called some,、uh, devotion, maybe we, we may say, a mixing in rajas. Sometimes we say, karma mishra bhakti. So, some karma mixing. <laughs> And、uh, some person is more, more doing karma. But devotion is very small. Then, bhakti mishra karma. Sometimes we say.、Mm. <laughs> Usually we, we say bhakti. We say shuddha bhakti. And、uh, if someone who has mixing karma means some material kind of desire, it is called karma mishra bhakti. And someone want to have desire to, to get liberation through devotional service, that is sometimes we say jnana mishra bhakti. Or some devotee want to have some mystic power, then this sometimes we may say yoga mishra bhakti. And、uh, Rupa Goswami say, what is Shuddha Bhakti? Is we do devotional service favorably and no tinge of karma, jnana, other desires, and just pleasing the Lord. And、uh, that is called pure devotion. Sorry. I, s h r i m a d b h a g w a t defines sattvika, sattvika devotion as follows The person who offers his activities to me to become liberated from the reactions to the, his karma and who has a separatist attitude, liberation being more important to him than devotion, worships me in the mode of goodness. Also, the devotees who desire liberation are freed from such desires by the grace of a pure devotee. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is described There are many people in the material world who desire liberation. And who worship Krishna for that purpose. They will all become qualified devotees when they associate with saints. Thus, they will worship Krishna purely, giving up their desire for liberation. When the sage is headed by Shonaka, associated with Narada Muni, they began to worship Krishna, giving up their desire for liberation. After that, Kapila Dev defines pure transcendental faith and devotion. Simply by hearing about my glories, the minds of the pure devotees go directly to me, who are sitting in the cave of everyone's heart. 
Äh, Moment. Who I, who am sit me to me who am sitting in the cave of everyone's hearts <coughs> as the Ganga flows into the ocean. The definition of transcendental devotion to the supreme person is that it is causeless and uninterrupted. So, I think this is a very famous verse, and uh, this is a pure devotion means a high to ki a pratihata is causeless means sometimes we have material desire we do or I do because of I get this material benefit or uh, say like this kind of business okay I order Amazon I pay hundred dollar then I can get something so this kind of motivation you know usually we have it but uh, pure devotion is is no personal motivation. Just to want to please, please the Lord. That's it. Then uninterrupted. Uninterrupted, like sometimes say, for example, okay, today raining. Okay, today monogatic, I don't go. I don't want to go. Because rain, uh, you know, my clothes will wet or become cold. You know, kind of some reason we say. And uh, this is interrupted. Mm -hmm. Uninterrupted is very steady. So if we say Gurudev's was 24-7, always sinking, completed flow, that is pure. Means if we are some blockage, then this kind of inter, you know, uh, uninterrupted is not so easy. So therefore some blockage then interrupted. And uh, also our heart should be very pure. And no material desire. That is pure devotion. <laughs> Even if I offer them residence on my planet, opulence equal to mine, a form equal to mine, a place close to me, or even oneness with me, my devotees will not accept it without having my devotional service. Such devotees only desire pure devotional service. Therefore, Mahaprabhu said, O Lord of the Universe, I only pray for causeless devotional service unto you, birth after birth. One may ask here, will such a pure devotee have to suffer the tribulations of birth and death again and again? Mahaprabhu personally told Sanatan Goswami in Chaitanya Charitamrita, the body of a Vaishnava is never material. The devotee's body consists of pure transcendental bliss. At the time of initiation, the devotee surrenders himself, and at that time, Krishna considers him to be equal to himself. 
Krishna then makes his body full of transcendental bliss. And in this spiritual body, the devotee serves his lotus feet. So I want to ask Antakaji and uh, also Maharani. Oh, Gurudev. Wow. Then maybe I want to hear Gurudev. Me too. So Gurudev here mentioned one may ask here, will such a pure devotee have to suffer the tribulation of birth and death again and again? Sometimes pure devotee, it seems suffering. So, could you give some comment or some kind of feeling, Gurudev? Sometimes devotee suffer. Looks like suffering. Uh, I want to listen. You want to listen? Maybe later on. <coughs> okay. Then under we cannot hear you nicely, Chayananda. I okay. want to listen again. Ah, okay, good day. Uh, this question is there. No, no, read that huh? line. Repeating the, the reading, please, then do the free comment. Yeah. The body of a Vaishnava is never material. Uh, no, no, be before. Before? Yeah. Ah, okay. A such devotee only desires pure devotional service. <coughs> Therefore, Mahaprabhu said, O Lord of the universe, I only pray for causeless devotional service unto you, birth after birth. One may ask here, will such a pure devotee have to suffer the tribulations of birth and death again and again? Actually, they don't bother for this. Devotion means no, my demand that you uh, give me some place for that. If I have to take birth again and again, but I need your devotion, mm. that the desire of the purity. If I have a desire something, then purity is not there. Mm. So there is no desire. This is the meaning of no desire. Pure devotee has no desire. If he has to take birth again and again, he is ready for that. If he has to, uh, to, to go to the seva, he is ready for that. If he is not qualified, he, he wants to take birth again and again <coughs> to serve. Service is the more beautiful thing. Devotion is more beautiful relishment than other things. That the beauty of devotion. Mm. But no desire, selfless means no desire. If any desire is there hiddenly, there is a meaning of desire. <laughs> it's not purity. Mm. Some uh, Amazon is there. Mm. I do for some Amazon. Mm. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, please. And the Korea? Yes, Korea. Yeah. <clears throat> the body of a Vaishnava is never material. The devotee's body consists of pure transcendental bliss. 
At the time of initiation, the devotee, devotee surrenders himself. And at that time, Krishna considers himself, him to be equal to himself. Krishna then makes his body full of transcendental bliss. And in this spiritual body, the devotee serves his lotus feet. So this is for a Krishna Bhakta or for a Krishna devotee. Mm -hmm. So when does actually Radharani gives the spiritual body with when we have first like the bo spiritual body from Krishna and then we go further, we um, make our progress like we were talking this morning. Actually, this is, is very good. It fits very good to what we were talking this morning, Gurudev. Again, please go to said. Okay. So here it's written. At the time of initiation, a devotee surrenders himself. And at that time... The point. At the time of uh, initiation, if devotee not surrender, then he no accept Guru. <laughs> Any doubts are there, he is not surrender. Mm -hmm. I surrender five percent, mm -hmm. I will get five percent benefit. I surrender ten percent, I will get ten percent benefit. Or I give hundred percent surrender, I will get hundred percent. Depends on the person to person how much he surrenders. At the time of taking initiation, he accepts or not? I don't accept the Guru. Then how I will I can surrender my surrender to the false ego? I, my false ego is making me to dance. Mm -hmm. And they, they say, I'm dancing. I, my, I don't want to um, lose my false ego. <coughs> my status will go down. So I know surrender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One is surrender, one is no surrender. Mm -hmm. I surrender to my Gurudev. I am full of false ego. After initiation, 180 degree change come to me. Only by that, my life changed. Yeah. And then I totally surrender up to now to him. I now go to other place to watch it. Totally surrender. Mm -hmm. He is 30, 35 years left his body, but still I am surrendered to him. And he gives me every moment guidelines. Mm -hmm. Every moment. If he now inspired me, I cannot work anything. Mm -hmm. But I do is all his inspiration. What I do, all his mercy through my body. So, so Gurudev, I have a question. You, you every time mention, many times mention, after uh, your Gurudev, Radha Govinda Babaji Maharaj, physically not to exist. 
but the uh, exist enter into in your heart. So it can be not exist. I not believe this. Oh, spiritual, you know, like material body, Guru Dev. I don't bother in that. Ah. I sit with my spiritual manjari sarup to him. Oh. Mm. He give me manjari sarup to see his, his spiritual body. And I always feel it that he is guiding me. What mm. I think he is talking to me. Mm. I have no voice to myself. Mm. I never read any book. From where I know these things, I have no idea. <laughs> I never prepare anything in my life. Mm. I surprise myself when I listen my classes. From where <laughs> wow. wow. One day, the yeah, Italian devotee make one classes, Christian classes. I was surprised when I started listening this clip. Sadhu Maharaj can say these things. I was surprised. <laughs> Ten years before. The face was this. I was in ecstasy. You see that eyes, I'm totally ex 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 Who is talking? I am not in my body consciousness. Wow. Guru Dev is talking from me. Wow. So today Guru Dev was saying a very beautiful story about the Bhagavad Gita mm. and uh, Dharma Kshetra and the Kuru Kshetra. So Dharma Kshetra means uh, like a soul. Soul area and uh, Kurukshetra is false ego area and Guru David mentioned uh, actually this Kurukshetra war of Kurukshetra battle of Kurukshetra is fighting with false ego so we are we condition soul we also uh, sometimes fighting with false ego no fighting, yeah. inner ah. fighting going on. Yes. Inside fighting, inside yes. fighting yes. is going on. Yes. Inside me, some fight is going on. <laughs> this vibration is the fighting vibration which makes me angry. Mm. This is Dharam Chetre, Chetre. Mm. The ego father is a blind detrust. And mother also covered his eyes. So the ego fathers, they both are mother and father are blind and they never honest with their children. This is the false ego. Mm. Then the, my false ego grow. Ignorance. Mm -hmm. This is Bhagavad Gita. I start Dharam Chetre, Guru Chetre. Two things: mm -hmm. Dharam Chetre and Guru Chetre. Sambeta. What they are doing? Mamka. Mamka means my sons. Pandavas means they are brothers and but they say Pandavas. Mm. Kim Kurvas Sanjaya, what they are doing? One is with the false ego, one is a devotee, what they are doing there? <laughs> Krishna devotee. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bhagavad Gita, I start with this. Very good. Okay, go on.
A body of a Vaishnava is never material. The devotee's body consists of pure transcendental bliss. Yes, body of devotee is a bliss body. If you receive the bliss, if you surrender to your Gurudev, your body will become bliss body. <laughs> if you not surrender to Gurudev, your body is a shit body. <laughs> really? It's a shit and this is the same. Shit is going to the earth and this body will go to the earth. <laughs> what is shit is doing? Shit goes in the earth or not? Rotten. Yes. Rotten. And this body will be rotten. Nobody will think for you. Nobody will bother for you. Your coming and going is useless because I not surrender to my Guru to realize myself the reality of my life. At the time of coming is not useful. I took the birth and I will die, it, but useless. Nobody will remember me. Without surrendering, I will not start the way. And I will not realize the way by how to move it for the Vada. I will never realize it. Never realize. No. At the time of initiation, the devotee surrenders himself. And at that time, Krishna considers him to be equal to himself. Wow. You make equal. Equal. You make equal. Ah. Okay. My God. You are host of books. Wow. Wow. Why? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Krishna then <coughs> <coughs> Krishna then makes his body full of transcendental bliss and in this spiritual body the devotee serves him his lotus feet that's the point this is the my material shit body cannot do that. When we surrender to Gurudev, he gives transcendental body. And this transcendental body can serve to Krishna. I realize myself who I am. Then moment is start of devotion. Material body is a preparation to make the good. So Gurudev, this means at that time initiation, someone who is fully surrender to his Gurudev or her Gurudev. At that time, Krishna may give Spiritual body or a good day or not? Spiritual body, Krishna not giving. Not giving. No. Krishna giving through Gurudev. Are Radhika. Are by Krishna Radhika, what you say? He give through. He servant. He has not so much time for doing that. <laughs> ah, he, Guru, 
गुरु गोविंद दो खड़े काको लागो पाओ बलियारी गुरु आप नो गोविंद दियो बताए मीन्स गुरु की सो मच इज कनेक्टेड विद कृष्णा और इष्टदेव इफ ही इज अ राधिका दासी देर ही वर्क फॉर दैम he pray please accept this this is new baby come to me and i am giving to you and when he recommend like somebody you recommend somebody that please keep it this person he will do nice job so you accept or not recommendation is important yes. the gurudev is a recommendation to the sami is he yes yes i will agree you can help him and their vibration telepathic vibration is good. and then so, he so uh, good day you know for radha dash's case you know we understand so someone who is krishna bhakta if at at nanada is for those who not understand radha das there is krishna means radha krishna krishna is no nothing without his energy mm agbar gita se 1050 mm. mm. <laughs> so you don't differentiate them okay. they are soul to body mm we so we make difference why because to relish my somni mm. to serve her mm. so we make we are ready to give my life to krishna back to my soul to krishna back but he cannot touch my body because this body is giving with the so i mean this is the loyalty of the das mm. loyalty is not that he want to give his life or soul he say i am ready to give your soul life what i am living i am ready to give you back but you cannot touch my body because this is given by my son See the logic of Radha Dasyam. Hmm. How I will learn loyalty if I am not loyal to my Guru Dev. Hmm. I see human person. I will never loyal to my Guru because he is a human man. Yes, he is a human man. Very difficult to understand. Absurd. He behave like absurd, but always he is in Raman, in the service. Hmm. Right. That is Nityananda mantra. Absurd. Hmm. Very different than in the. He is a Krishna brother. A Radhika sister, I uh, he the crazy man. He hmm. talk something, do something. He do some crazy thing. How oh, I will say that he <laughs> devotee behaviors are not good. I find material I can how see that. One day, my guru Dev, under twenty years old. He is going with us in rickshaw. One Mata Ji, thirty-five, forty years old. He said to my Guru Dev, "Come and sit in my lap." Under twenty years old, Baba Ji, he went and sit on the lap of the Mata Ji. Yeah. <laughs> I was material. I, I said, "What?" <laughs> they were sitting in the lap of Mata Ji. <laughs> What happened to him? This doubt come to me. Mm. Then I said, "Mon Baba, what happened? Why not to be arrange one rickshaw for him?" <laughs> he said, 
He's Abdul. <laughs> He's Abdul. <laughs> he is the mother Lati. Mother Nasuba. <laughs> Great. They are to understand their bhav very deep. Very deep. Our material condition cannot understand divine person. We have to develop this divine vision to see them. We have a good luck that we have so many brothers and sisters who all want to protect us. Where you will find this? No place in the world. Mm, this is what is this? This is Radha Govindas Bhavaji Maharaj protection. And say, and say to us. Who can do this? Right? Mm, he protects us. So, Gurudev, last time we went to Mahanidhi Swami's place, and uh, Mahanidhi Swami is surprising <laughs> the behavior of our devotees. And he, he loves the devotees, our devotees, Munger Raj Mandir's devotees. And uh, I also explain, you know, we have, uh, we came from all over the world. And uh, he was, uh, <laughs> he was be, very much appreciated. And he was joking, maybe I may steal somebody, something, you know, he's joking. Like, uh, he's very much appreciating, you know, appreciating you, Gurudev, you know, you, Sadhu Maharaj. This is Radha Govindas Baba. Yes. We are one, some 25 paise, 20 paise doing. People is going two days in the front of Radha Govindas Baba. They cry like a baby to leave him. Wow. It's so much love. So much feeling, vibration give in one, two days. But I have nothing. I have nothing like him. This is all he's living and this vibration here. Wow. This is the real side of the behavior. This Always glorifying to the end. Nothing is my sympathy. All is Kripa. I say one example. Mm. Ten years I practice to start Kirtan, not possible. Ten years I try to do two hours, three hours Kirtan, not possible. Ten years, fifteen years I try to make garden here, not possible. Mm. The Kirtan also going on. By the mercy of Maharani's sponsorship, wow. permanently, <coughs> wow. and by the mercy of Gopal Sundar and Prashant Bahia, wow. every place you see greenery. Mm -hmm. wow. What development happened here? This is all inspiration of Prashant Bahia. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> From A to Z, he do. This room, ten rooms come, Prashant Bahia. Everything he do. With open heart. I was chopping, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And he want to do the best. <laughs> best. I said, no money. He said, no, everything top is happening. Yeah. <laughs> You see the green out temple, Prashant Vahiya and Priyas Vahiya put it. Remember? Yeah. It still is grilled there. It's still in Radha Mohan place, grill is there. 
everything you do. Many things improvement. You see this lion? I was very angry to him. <laughs> Why do you bring lion? <laughs> and he looks so beautiful, I see and surprise. He do all the best thing. Why? I am looking the money and he see the glory of Radhamo. You see elephant and the lion. So beautiful combination. This is the love for Radhamo, right? Yes. I cannot do what he do. Mm -hmm. He put the stone here, asked to Ras mm -hmm. and in the temple, all he do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stopping, he's stopping. He want to. <laughs> he was telling me I went to Jaipur without <laughs> I did see he went there and buy this stone. All the stones, all the garden and everything, all the beauty. Even the Jaipur that bought it from there. So it was only like a wall, brick wall. Right or not? Tum to dekhe ho. You are looking, right? You are looking. I was stop, stop, stop. For <laughs> my devotion is less than it. Four of the I went and stayed one night in Jaipur along with Priyesh. I used. Uh, so his devotion is higher than me. Right or not? I'm stopping and he's doing like I, I do the like a. Uh, one sukra charge, what is? <laughs> He's traveling like a sukra charge. Name of the Guru. Name of the Guru. Not do, not do. Don't do, don't say, don't, don't give. <laughs> and he do. And it look nice. Anything you see bad, this bring the big, big doors. <coughs> he bring from Munger. All the door and thing, one time we buy and bring a loaded and truck and send it. I was very angry. Why you send from again this? And you see how beautiful he made here. I don't know. It's so beautiful, useful in Radha Mohan temple. He all the things, beautiful thing, he all brings from Mugir. Yeah. For Adam is not devotion. This is devotion. What I do not do the best, these are doing. And Gopinath. He is also example. I never do like decoration, like a flower, like before in my life. In my, <laughs> my life. And when I see the flower decoration, one year, one time or two times, I do the sufficient, right or not, can I? Yes. Flower, flower decoration. And now every week is a flower decoration. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> we are counting the roti and rice, how much rice and roti is making. And yeah. now you see how much rice and chapati make no counting. No counting. Who is doing this? Devotee, devotion is doing. This. When I ask Gopinath, what you are doing, man? He said, why are you worried for anything? You, why are you worried? I said, I'm very worried. Yeah. You are going and I don't know, you are managing, I don't know even the flower number, anything, how I will do it. Don't chinta, don't worry. <laughs> Where you forget like this, devotees. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat>
What I don't do, they do. You see the Rasa and Shama devotion? Or <laughs> seven, they are non-stop working for the service of the devotees. See Sachinandan, how he's taking care, care peacefully with the cows, so much problem facing and doing Prem Prashad, Dr. Seva, all the gate problem, everything he's dealing alone. One time, the gate man go, he said, I will be gate man, I will be water man, I will do everything. Wow, impossible. He said, I will do. And he's doing his proof. Wow. Wow. These are the devotion, right? To surrender for the service. Never stop. Always he is singing in the front of Radha Mohan. And when you see, my heart is missing. I cannot sing like that. My God, so sweet song. So I went from here. So beautiful song. <laughs> I'm so glad. Everyone is devotee. I learned from them. How to do devotion. The best thing to be a devotee. Many times to take birth. Be a devotee is the best life. Thank you. Read more. <laughs> this automatically means that the devotee is already freed Free. from all. Free, already free. No need to them. They are free. <laughs> liberation. What is liberation? Liberation means to become free. But devotion is to make you free. You have become free. From any condition, you are free. That is the beauty of devotion. You will be free if you are devotee. Where is your devotion? You are free from that. So why not to be a devotee of Radha Mohan? To be free, already free, you are free. He will you become viewer, viewer, and he doing you. Just now, two days we are worried to get men, right? Two person come today. I want to work here. No. Right, Sachi? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are free. He will do for you. You cannot find, but he will do for you. Many things I have in my life, I got realized. We don't understand is right or wrong, <coughs> but the wrong thing happening, it becomes beautiful.
20 years back, I say you an example of devotion. I was in Munger, I think, to settle down Prashant there. In the front, there is a house. And this SP is helping his friend, coming like a friend. And in our front, one person entered there. And it was so shocking. What? Criminal entered in that house. Right or not? Yeah. And if we, if this house is free, we are thinking on for Mugir. And this house is captured by one criminal. We stop thinking for Mugir. Hmm. And I said, this is not a place to live. And we leave Mughe. Hmm. You see, it's not a bull bless. Then Radha Mohan gives flat in Delhi. Radha Mohan give all seva in Vrindavan. is not blessing. Munger mm -hmm. living, he, he stop it. This is not your job. Why you spoil your life for them? <laughs> no crazy thing was not giving you anything. <laughs> That time was so shocking to me. My God, in my front, we are the king here, and they are criminals, and no, go no government is helping. But this SP was the bliss. Was, SP was helping me. He got transferred same day because this criminal was connected with Lalu Yadav. Yadav, so this is the bliss. <coughs> it was bliss for me that it happens. Who stop it? Radha Mohan stop it. And he bring here. Mercy. Otherwise we all have different, different ways. Well, well uh, we are we are we are nowhere. Mm -hmm. You say what you are doing nowhere? Somewhere I bringing you. Stop it. And we not lose anything. Materially also we get it. And we got the really spiritual mercy that we are connected with Radha mm. <coughs> We realize it. <coughs> we are sharing and helping each other, brothers. This is the mercy. Munger cannot going to give anything, only suffering. Right, Masaki, you know Mughe. Yes. <laughs> what I can do there? Materially, you cannot do anything without his mercy. Devotion is the main thing in our life. Sorry, please go on. I'm a crazy man. <laughs> Freed from all karmic reactions which cause ordinary persons to take one birth after the other in the material world. The devotee takes birth in the material world simply according to the Lord's wish. Yeah, this is the... <laughs> Real devotee means, if you want, I have to take birth, I will ready to take again and again. Mm. 
but I want to be your devotee. That the beach. <laughs> Understand? Clear? <clears throat> Jananda yes. Maharaj? Yes. yes. Everyone is clear? And not because of his previous birth karma. This is the Vaishnava philosophy. He must take birth until he has attained the perfection of prema, which that is... I have to take the birth till I am not perfect of prema. If I have no love, I have to take again and again birth. But I will be your devotee. Swamini, so your devotee, I will never deviate from you. <coughs> Which and is beyond. Oh. Oh, yes, you, say, you will say. Yes. Yeah. Which is beyond uh, liberation. Ah. Uh, Go on. And that perfection cannot be attained without accepting a material body. Ah. Even after attaining prema, a devotee may still take birth again in this world simply to be able to relish the sweetness of sadhana bhakti, devotion in practice. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. Therefore, the repeated birth and death of the Vaishnava is not a miserable affair as it is the case with the conditioned souls who suffers tremendously while accepting and giving up their material bodies. Wow. They are suffering. They In the are. Go on. In the Uttara Kanda, of the Padma Purana it is written, the Vaishnavas do not take birth because of their bondage to karma. The secret is that the Lord does not let the devotee know this fact. Otherwise, his humility could be lost. And when humility is lost, there will surely be loss in devotion. <coughs> wow. <coughs> so what is the beauty? One day Dharanta Mara said, humility is the beauty of devotion. Jai Jananda Maharaj ki Jai Jai is the humbleness devotion but humbleness come to your life <laughs> <clears throat> I will tell by watching my house, I have a humility or not in my life. But still ego is catching me and controlling. Yeah. <clears throat> 
That is why the devotees also think that they have to accept birth and death because of their bondage to karma. In this, and this is why Pralat prays to Lord Nishimadev, Oh Lord, I may have to take thousands of births according to my karma, but in whatever species I may take birth, birth, O oh Achyuta, may I have unflinching devotion for you. Yes. Five years old, child. <coughs> <coughs> Sri wow. Vidya Pati Thakur similarly prays, According to my karma, I may take birth again and again as a human being, as an animal, a bird, a worm or an insect. But may my mind always be attached to you. Sriman Mahaprabhu said, O oh Lord, let me have causeless devotion for you, birth after birth. In the beginning of Srimad Bhagavata, Sri Sutta Muni gave Shonaka and the sages the definition of the supreme religious principles. The supreme religion for mankind is devotion unto the Supreme Lord, who is not perceived by the material senses. Wow. Without Jiva consciousness, we cannot perceive with my material. And we want to keep impersonal jiva. When we want to be personal, we need the bride and groom relation. We need the lover, loving relation. Bible also says, bride, I want to be bride, girls, to love you. That is Pakiti Deha. That is Gopi Bhav. Such devotion is causeless and unhampered and fully satisfies the Self. Satisfied to the self means soul. Satisfaction of self means my soul becomes satisfied. <coughs> soul is satisfied. Self means nothing but me. Self means soul. That soul becomes satisfied. <coughs> My prakriti deha, my female nature of the body, as the soul fully satisfied. Guru, that soul is not always satisfied. It's a soul. It's not like material, no? So it's only satisfied, only eternal, only this like... Satisfied, but satisfaction means fully satisfied by my action behavior. Read again this line. Such devotion is causeless. Causeless. No, no, no reason for that. I, why I do, I don't know. <laughs> In my prakriti deha, we acting, but I don't know why it ha happening. It's causeless. No reason for that. 
and when no reason for that, no season for that, that is something is special. His love movement, the soul only satisfied when there is no reason for that, no season for that, that meaning of love. He is moving in the love. Fully satisfied with the love in my Prakriti Deha to relish Adi Purusha. And this practice keeping Gopi out. Then after this practice, we grow, we want to be friend, or we want to be a servant. Look like this, friend is more better, servant is lower. When we go deep in the subject, then we understand what is better for me. That is one stage more higher. Right, can I? Clear? Go on. Sridhar Swami. <coughs> Sridhar Swami explains the word Ahaituki as follows. That's the point. Ahaituki Kripa. A causeless mercy. No reason for the mercy, but it happens. Ahaituki. Yes? A haituki means that there is no desire for any fruitive result. The service of the Lord's lotus feet is free from desires for any material and for any spiritual benefit. Sri Jiva Goswami writes, the word Ahaituki stands for the constitutional position of pure devotion. And the point. Come to the point. Constitutional position of pure devotion. When I hate Igrapa, causes Mansi come, then we know the sole constitutional position. A special mercy of Guru, Vaishnava, Sadhus coming in our life. A special mercy comes that we know the constitutional position of my soul. Soul has a what constitutional position? He wants to serve in as a friend. I did not see I did not serve. Second stage. That is a hit by cause unconditional mercy. What do you say? Causeless. No? I didn't do anything for that. None. But I get it. I get it. <laughs> that is my country. Without qualification. Without, without doing nothing. 
<laughs> By your grace, it happens to me. Doing something and I got something is not a hetiki kripa. My effort, I effort for that, then I get it. I hate it if I do nothing, I get it. <laughs> I have no any effort I do for that. It happens to my life. Ah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Greed must be there or nothing, baby? Greed. <laughs> that so it's happens. not really nice. <coughs> it is. Not greed means not no, greed is no desire. Nice. I want to do for you. Greed is there. Greed is necessary. Anything where is my greed, I do that. Greed is to serve. Service is my greed. Not funny things is my greed. Not to, not to waste my time is my greed. I want to serve, and I want to be in that service. I don't want to waste my time. That is my grief. That's a devotion, Radha. Right? My Amrita understands right now. Hmm. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> go on, go on, on the camera. Hmm. Devotion is blissful in itself. So, haituki means with no other purpose but to please Lord Hari. This devotion close the fan back. This devotion is the essence of the Lord's knowledge potency linked with his bliss potency, Hladini Shakti. Wow. Essence means here desires that are favorable to God. This is great. Remember, this is my desire. What is favorable to you? I will do that. That is good. Uh, knowledge potency is to know the energy of God. This is knowledge. Read again. Mm -hmm. This devotion is the essence essence devotion is the essence mm. of yeah. of the lord's knowledge potency knowledge you understand him why you understand read again more mm. so this devotion is the essence of the Lord's knowledge potency linked Link to his it. bliss potency. Yeah, that the mind linked with the bliss potency. Yeah. 
If he's Pleasure. not rest up, please, one minute. If huh? he's not linked, you will yes. never understand knowledge is that. If this knowledge is not linked, missing. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> missing, big missing. <laughs> Knowledge means linked with loudly. loudly. Here, Gurudev, Gurudev, he here is translated linked to his bliss potency, Hladini Shakti. You see, yeah. again read this line. This word has been. <laughs> this devotion is the essence of the Lord's knowledge potency. Understand now. You understand Krishna because you are linked to bliss potency. Then you understand. Are Krishna cannot understand himself without his Shakti, mm. inner Shakti. 1015 Bhagavad Gita, see that. <coughs> When he has to understand himself, he sees his pleasure potency Radha mm -hmm. to understand himself. Krishna Tattavetta. This is Tattavetta. This is Tattva. This Tattva has to be clear. That the link is has to be not knowledge potency has to be linked with the bliss potency. And what is that? Lajani Shakti Radha. Can we say maybe Guru the knowledge potency linked with pleasure giving potency? <laughs> <laughs> so Mahani Swami say, Gurudev, this Sambita Shakti is come from Vasudeva Krishna, Fradini is come from Radha, this is Radha Krishna, actually. Oh. So, and uh, only Krishna is useless hmm. without <laughs> Fradini Shakti. <laughs> he is bringing here to us. But you see, this is the problem. I think to know that knowledge is no knowledge if it's not linked to less potency. Knowledge is no knowledge if it's not linked to the bliss potency. Mm. Write down this word. No knowledge is all. Shit knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is a not a nothing, it's not useful. Right. Knowledge is no this is Anandas Babaji book. <laughs> this is the only book you read in life and life will change. Which book are we reading, Gurudev? I think we are reading Temple of Love, maybe. What is this book? Shikshashtakam, Ananta Das Babaji. I, I say you, wow. any book of Ananta Das Babaji can change your life. Love must sadhu sanya sabu siddhi ho. Child, with your sweet explanation, it's even better. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. Because devotion is the essence of this. Of so, this is even. Because it's all being concluded, right? If you and it all come from devotion. It all comes to a prayer. Prayer. Devotion come from late. And devotion is the way to understand this. Mm. So we need material body. 
again and again Hello. come to realize my constitutional question. Hello? Hello? We, this, this is the mercy of our family to come to the constitutional position. This is the mercy to come to the human body to realize it. Mm. Mm. Until we don't realize, we have to come again and again to realize. Mm. Mm. How to make the the devotion and service blissful. What is the difference between somebody who is doing some devotional service and someone who is making a blissful devotional service? Because he developed knowledge, but not linked with the link with the, with the pleasure. You, you take. Yeah. <laughs> they have a knowledge, too much knowledge, mm -hmm. but they will cut the. Bliss giving, giving potence. Mm. You watch mm. empty now. How and why? The only duty. How it's and like why? Is like the knowledge is like a ritual. It's not going to do. Oh, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> there are ideas. Ideas. No, no, understand. The goal, we took this human birth to take my conscience and position. They don't understand this. Mm. They want to be guru, they want to be big, big man, power, ego is that. They are looking in the false ego. With devotional service. Some desires are there. Amazon <laughs> thing is there. Some Amazon trading is there. So that's the point. Hmm. Go on. So here, <clears throat> the essence means desires that are favorable to God. And there are no other desires but these desires in the hearts and the minds of the pure devotees mm. pure devotees keep other desires far away <laughs> but they don't have to keep it far away right but because they have only one desire and nothing else can enter no no if they come they keep it far away it means mm. they come but it depends upon you. You embrace it, I keep it this way. Mm. We are living to, to, together, but maybe I can keep far away from one person or two person. It's a hard connection, feeling connection. Right? Mm -hmm. I know relate with that. So far away. Some but buddy is keeping Krishna far away from them. Somebody keep far away Radha. They know develop Eastern Star, they keep far away. So what to keep far away? Close, they keep far away that. And what not to keep close? They keep it close. Close. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Ignorance. No? This is ignorance. <laughs> because they want to test this different test, no? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. no, not knowledge or connected with another. <laughs> so many parts of this have to take. Human, animal, so many life we have to travel. Right. Mm. If you not realize. And this human life, we get it to realize it. Open the fan. Yes. To realize it. To realize it, we took the fan. Distinguish it. Yeah. 
a different shape. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what you can do. Yes, human birth to to realize by devotion my constitutional position. Who is what is my sadhu to go back to my a beautiful example is given <coughs> in Srimad Bhagavatam, wow. sixth canto, wow. where pure devotee Vritra. Vritrasura. Praise to the Lord as follows. One packet, one, one, one. Yeah, one, they give to us. <laughs> oh Lord Hari. I am I servant. No. And, and. Oh Lord Hari, praise Vritrasura. I am the servant of the servant of those devotees who are fully surrendered to your lotus feet and I will remain so, O Lord of my life. May my mind remember your qualities. May my words glorify your attributes. And may my body be engaged in your devotional service. O ocean of all good fortune, I don't desire a place in the heavenly planets. I don't desire lordship over the world, nor the position of Lord Brahma nor the lordship over the subterranean worlds, nor any mystic perfection, nor liberation, if that will separate me from you. O Lotus Eyed One, I desire to see you just as a small bird that still has no wings desire to see its mother. Just like a calf desires the other of the cow or the wife desires to see her husband who has gone abroad. Wow, very nice. This last line again. Oh, Lotus Eyed One, <coughs> I desire to see you just as a small bird Wow. that has no wings, desires to see its mother. Wow. No wing, but mother desires to see. Just as a calf desires the other of a cow, or the wife desires to see her husband who has gone abroad. 
So we have no other desire. Only you to see. We have no other desire. Like a, we have a desire like that, that like a baby is looking uh, without but baby want to see her mother. So you are my mother and I have no way to fly. You need to bring me food? This is not the desire I have, only one desire. Like a husband, my husband go to the foreign country and I am suffering without it. That I am suffering without it. Like a baby calf is crying for the mother breast milk, that I am crying like a baby calf for my mother. That is it. They are teaching us how to work on this desire. To baby cow has only one desire, only to how to get the milk from mother. No wonder. Mm. <clears throat> mother is also always ready to give <laughs> to baby cow. To baby, to baby cow. Mm. And when you not bring baby cows, he will not give me. Mm. When we think we are grown up. Shri Lajiva Goswami comments on the last verse that the baby bird has no other shelter but the mother. Because Maradika, we have no other shelter. We cannot fly. We have no qualification. Yeah. But because it does not have its wings yeah, yet and therefore cannot fly with mother. Yeah. It is completely helpless, incapable, and dependent. Yeah. No. Therefore, only the mother can be merciful yeah. to it. That is devotion. That's it. That is devotion. That is devotion. That is devotion. Radhe, Radhe. 